Samurai Carpenter Work Build Bench Part 1. Samurai Samurai Carpenter Work Build Work Build 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 Samurai Carpenter uh, Samurai He seemed to pull that puppy out just about all the time for everything. I like it because I can fit it uh, into my shirt. You know, it's just very simple to <laughs> it's very simple to grab. Uh, if I didn't need to use this. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Four workpiece legs. Come on. Better here, and uh, I'm going to get them approximately. The problem is they scoot all over the place when you're trying to get clamps on them. So there's a technique that Nick talks about to get these into my clamps here. The reason I, and there is a little problematic, the reason I had a piece of wood in there is to hold the jaws open. I've got that out of there now, and this is not going as well as it should, but the point is, is to get these into the clamp, the panel clamp. <laughs> I tell you what, <laughs> if you're a beginning woodworker, I would stay away from <laughs> these one inch auger bits, <laughs> uh, particularly if you're 75 years old, uh, 76. <laughs> if you're six foot six, you're the samurai carpenter, you've got a lot of experience with them and you got a lot of strength, then maybe you can control. Uh, these puppies but as you can see the uh, even if I let it just go by itself and just try to keep it straight I've gotten myself now locked into the woods so this is probably not probably not a method that I'm going to try to use in the future because I I'm trying to use these uh, wrists for tennis <coughs> and I really don't want to break them uh, with this drill so. This compass set at one inch. <coughs> and there went my lead, and that's what happens when you're filming. <laughs> now I'm going to see if I can find my lead. Good luck with that. I'll be.
be back. I didn't find it. <laughs> That'll go on my blooper video.